If this is your first time over here and want to know amazing stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss any updates. What would happen if you fall into a black hole? Black holes are without question some of the strangest places in the universe, so massive that they hideously deform space and time, so dense that their centers are called point of infinity, and pitch black because not even light can escape them. It isn't surprising that so many people wonder what it would be like to visit one. If you were about to take a step into a black hole, your body will most closely resemble toothpaste being forced out of the tube, said Charles Liu, an astrophysicist who works at the American Museum of Natural History's Hidden Planetarium. Liu said that when an object crosses a black hole's event horizon, its outer boundary or point of no return, the same physics that causes Earth's ocean tides to take place, gravity strength decreases with distance, so the moon pulls on the side of the Earth closer to it a bit more vigorously than the side further from it. And as a result, Earth elongates ever so slightly in the direction of the moon. The land is sturdy, so it doesn't move much, but the water on the Earth's surface is fluid, so it flows along the elongated axis. That's the tidal interaction, he said. Near a black hole, roughly the size of Earth, tidal forces are magnified of the scale. The top of your head would feel more gravitational pull than the tip of your toes. That you would be stretched longer and longer because your brain would dissociate into its constituent atoms almost instantly. You would have little opportunity to soak in the scenery at the threshold of an Earth-sized black hole. If you are focused on visiting a space-time singularity, I recommend going big. Bigger black holes have less extreme surface. If you had a black hole the size of our solar system, then the tidal forces at the event horizon are not quite that strong. So you could actually maintain your structural integrity. In that case, you would get to experience the effects of curvature of space-time, projected by Einstein's general theory of relativity. First of all, you approach the speed of light as you fall into a black hole. So, the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time. Furthermore, as you fall, there are things that have been falling in front of you that have experienced an even greater time dilation. So, if you are able to look forward toward the black hole, you see every object that has fallen into it in the past. And then, if you look backwards, you will be able to see everything that will ever fall into the black hole. So, the upshot is, you will get to see the entire history of that spot in the universe, from the Big Bang up to all the way into distant future. Alright guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and I will see you in the next one.